Você sempre fica muito sério e eles fazem piadas e tudo na sua frente. Como é que você consegue manter essa seriedade? So the way it works is we're on set, we have the cameras and we'll do uh, we'll run the scene. Funciona assim, nós estamos no set, tem lá todas as câmeras, então vai começar a rodar a filmagem. And the, and I will uh, laugh hysterically through the entire take. <laughs> Eu vou dar risada histericamente o tempo todo. And the director will roll his eyes. <laughs> Ele vai ficar rolando os olhos. And we'll do it again and again and again. <laughs> e a gente vai repetir, vai repetir, vai repetir. Until finally I say, Jared Jensen. Please go to your trailers. <laughs> and then I will do the scene <laughs> with the script supervisor and the prop girl <laughs> playing the roles of Jared and Jensen. <laughs> and the, uh, the script girl, her name is Robin. I'm not kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm totally 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 kidding. The script girl, whose name is Robin, will uh, read, she'll read Jared's lines, and she'll hold her hand up over her head. So that, that's, that's where his face goes. And the other woman will stand on a, a little box. And she'll be Jensen. Um, and sometimes, believe it or not, um, in that situation, I will look and I will see my <laughs> script girl going like that, and I'll laugh. <laughs> it's very difficult. Jared will do anything he can to make me laugh. <laughs> There's no limit. Não há limite. And sometimes during my take, um, when the camera is pointed at me, um, Jared will just turn and start having a conversation with someone else. <laughs> and I always laugh. <laughs> so when you see me, no, that's not Castillo. When you see me being very serious, it's like the one take in ten that works. <laughs> and I'm usually just serious because I'm so tired at that point. <laughs> Jensen is very good. At, like, he's had many more years practice with Jared, so he's really good at not laughing. He will. O Jensen é muito bom, ele tem muitos anos de prática, então ele é muito bom em não dar risada. There was a scene toward the end of the season this year when um, Jared um, Jensen was in a scene with Bobby and they were they were talking to somebody else and their backs were sort of in a doorway. Estava uma cena onde eles estavam com as costas viradas para uma porta. And during Jensen's close up Jared crawled on the floor. Put his, put his hand on his thigh and started running his hand. And, and Jensen was just like. I couldn't. I was amazed. Like, he's very, he's very good at not laughing. And Jim Beaver is amazing at not laughing too. He's really good. I, I can't do it. I don't even try. <laughs> but you, you don't have uh, um, any time for thinking in uh, something sad. You just get tired and get serious. Você não pensa em coisas tristes ou você simplesmente fica cansado e aí você fica sério. If I'm in a scene with Jared, it's a lot, a lot of my mental energy goes into don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. I'm in a scene with Jared, and I'm thinking, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. 
with other with other actors, it's a little bit easier to actually act. Com outros atores é mais fácil realmente ser um ator. Thank you so much. They actually, I think that they try not to put us together. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I look at the scripts and I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. They're, and toward the end of this season, they were doing a lot more Cass and Dean scenes with no Sam in them at all. And I think it was because they realized, you know what? We are, they're spent, they, it personally costs them money to put me and Sam in the same, me and Jared in the same scene. Because They have to pay overtime for the crew. <laughs> <laughs> é, na verdade, eles têm que pagar horas extras para o pessoal se colocarem eles juntos. Então, resumindo, foi isso que eles falaram. Eu tenho duas perguntas para você. A primeira não é relacionada com o Supernatural. Como Nipstuck. Como você foi castada em episódio? Por causa da sua flexibilidade? Actually, I did have to sort of do the, the move in the audition. Eu precisei, na verdade, é, fazer a, a parte, as duas partes durante o teste. I don't know if you've ever done anything that makes you feel like a prostitute. Alguma vez na sua vida você fez alguma coisa que fizesse com que você se sentisse uma prostituta? But that made me feel like one. Foi assim que eu me senti. And the second one is about randomness. Like, how does it work? Uh, when you launch the video to, to your site, website, I thought you were the one who did all the actions. It seems like you were the one. But you also donate when something happens. So how does the at random next really work? Well, the question is how the thing really works, in fact. Random act. Random act. Random act. It's his... Random act. Uh, yeah. 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 Ah, tá. Então ela pergunta. Então você não quer perguntar em português para eu entender? Ah, é, eu perguntei para ele sobre a instituição dele de caridade, o Random Max. Como que funciona realmente? Um, I, no, so basically we, we donate money to uh, we donate money to Haiti Relief, to Pakistan Relief, to Japan as well. Nós doamos dinheiro para o Haiti, para o Paquistão, para o Japão. That works out to be about uh, 30% of what of, of the money that comes in, and then we're then we. Isso é mais ou menos 30 do dinheiro que a gente arrecada. And then we do individual acts around the world as well. We're doing. E a gente faz coisas individuais ao redor do mundo também. Are you doing something? In Brazil? Yeah. Para fazer alguma coisa em Brasil? Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're doing anything in Brazil right now. Não sei se a gente está fazendo alguma coisa no Brasil nesse momento. We have a bunch of applications, so basically every every. Nós temos muitas solicitações. Uh, every three months we get a bunch of we go through all the applications for acts and then we decide which ones we're going to do in the next three months. Um, and we're do we're as soon as I get back to the states we're going to go through the next batch. So. A gente analisa as aplicações a cada três meses para decidir o que a gente vai fazer. E assim que eu voltar para os Estados Unidos, eu vou analisar as aplicações que estão lá para decidir o que nós vamos fazer. Um, but, the, but the project that we're doing in Haiti is one that we're actually administering. So we're not giving money to another organization for them to do something. We're actually going and building this community center in Haiti uh, in June. So that's, a, that's, that's kind of our biggest project that we've done yet. Um, o do Haiti, na verdade, é um projeto que nós mesmos estamos administrando. A gente não terceirizou, não é outra empresa que está administrando. Nós mesmos. What is it? You're building in Haiti? We're building a community center. Ah, nós uh, estamos uh, com, uh, yeah. com... <laughs> <laughs> And it's also serving as an orphanage and a micro lending center. And, uh, um, but it's a, it's a pretty big project. And we're <laughs> I'm actually really pleased with how that's come together because it's, you know, it's a lot of people from fandom who were involved in the project. And we've also partnered with uh, two other non-profit organizations who are bringing their resources to bear on the project. So we're actually leveraging a lot more money than what we're raising for the project is it's a lot of money. That's all I've got. <laughs>
Hey, <laughs> <laughs>